This morning in family time, the must-have items that will make your next family road trip a lot less stressful. Here now with her advice is our good friend, the Mod Mommy, Mom Blogger, Courtney Calagiri. Good morning. Good morning. Nice How you are here. you? You know what the great thing about being in a car is? It has a roof. It's it, raining. It does. <laughs> It is dry in there. No, yeah. we're just kidding around. I think we're going to squeeze this. Oh, this will be fine. I'm so, excited. Of course. I'm hoping yeah. it downpours because you and I can handle it. Let's get right to the things that we need. I mean, where should we start? Because a lot of people, they don't know what to bring. Maybe they have a young family that they've never right. done this before. And here's the thing. This is like such a random table of stuff. But, but it's perfect. It, it's that way for a reason because you know what you need to pack in terms of like clothes, sunblock. Oh, I what dropped something. Lose? That kind of thing. Don't worry. Uh, just a bag. It's totally fine. Um, so these are things that you might not think of when you realize, oh my gosh, genius. I totally need that. This is great. So the first thing for my kids, they eat nonstop. Um, so I found the smallest cooler I could find that this would fit fine in a car. Great size. I think an insulated bag works well. You want to pack some snacks, obviously. Um, so we're going on a road trip, my family, 10 hours, which will probably be 20. Um, <laughs> they're going to be hungry. We might be in traffic. We yeah. might not have time to stop. So things that are, do not make a mess, cheese sticks, maybe individual bags of snacks, nothing sticky, probably bananas, apples, that kind of thing you can hand out. Yeah. I think would be fine. Absolutely. And um, I think with that, and uh, reusable water bottles for everybody, because again, juice boxes spill, milk will smell, you do not want to spill something like that. So if everyone has a container, parents included, easy to fill up when you stop. Mm -hmm. And if it spills, who cares? It's Absolutely. Water, right? I love it. I yeah. love it. It's so resourceful. And games are always great too. Yeah. So these I found, I think at the Target, like one spot, they're a dollar a card, which awesome. is awesome. This is road trip bingo. I couldn't have made this better myself. So these are perfect. We got one for everybody. Good for the non-technology time, you know, okay. if they don't want to read, you don't want to like watch movies anymore, it's just like super cool and, you know, I think these will last a long while as long as Taking we destroy them. Taking it old them. school in the back seat with some Yeah, games. and we're bringing old maid too because we oh. are so old school, my family. <laughs> that, Uno, anything like that that doesn't have a lot of pieces, I think travels really well. I recall too when my brother and I got a little older, just playing like 20 questions. Oh, we do that all the time. Oh, it's so We do that riding fun. into Seacom, yeah. so 10 minutes. <laughs> exactly. 50 questions. So much fun. What else do we have here? Uh, okay, so I have an easy pass here which we didn't normally have but got one for this because I looked at the map 15 states are included we're heading south so this is good no fumbling for change loose tokens you just breeze right through no reason to stop more with kids all right moving on this is my little first aid kit that I always keep in the car but I'm thinking if anyone feels sick instead of in the luggage we'll keep our thermometer and like some child medicine easy reach you don't right. want to be like pulling over opening the trunk just kind of as a reminder, keep it with your first aid kit. Exactly. And, and I'm wondering what the significance here garbage, is. Garbage, you know, um, trash bags. Yes, this is genius. For the spilling, for the sickness, for anything. So now just bring like, I don't know, six, however many you can fit you in. Like they can this. tuck in behind the seat. And then when you get out, just throw your throw your trash bag out. Right. So, so like if we've, you know, just like all the stuff is strewn yes. all about, you know, it's just Practice like, now. like this. You know. I never would have thought of that until I realized on like a normal day trip, all of the trash <laughs> we accumulate in the car. It's that easy. Okay. Okay. And lastly, and this is last for people like me who have young kids. We cannot not pack this, but consider downsizing if you can. Mm -hmm. So a lot of companies are making compact strollers now. This is Up a Baby's Menu, and it's considered like their umbrella stroller, but it it folds down so small and can fit into a bag. Oh, it's we? ridiculous. Yeah. So I just want to show you. It has all the you know has the extendable canopy. Right. SPF is built in. You can recline the seat. 20 pounds fits under here. Yeah, we will wanted to get in it, but I don't think Do you want to see it. how small it gets? The, come on. So it gets so small. Look at this. And you can also, you can wear it. Oh, shit. And then if you want to wear it, I want to show you really quick. It oh, it fits goes in that bag. In a bag. So, like, wow. you can travel anywhere with it. You look really good, by the way. Not too shabby right there. <laughs> <laughs> but well, I need that for space. This is a huge space saver. We're not going to take our normal big stroller. So just consider finding smaller items of things you typically need. Courtney, always a pleasure. Thank Some you. Some tremendous advice here for that next family road trip. She's got you covered to review any of this. Just head on over to roadshow.com.